Hello, my name is Drew Devitt and I'm founder of New Way Air Bearings. Welcome to Drew's Air Bearing Kitchen where we're going to cook up a retrofit of an SKF spindle unit or two bearing unit. So you can see here the casting and the spindle shaft. These are the components that would have come with the uh, assembly. Uh, nice healthy rolling element bearings, retainer caps that go into the ends of the casting, spacer, Belleville washer, and contact packing material. We're going to replace these items only with these items here. You can see the air bearing units and the thrust washer basically which slides over the same journal that the bearing had mounted to and runs up against the shoulder and the actual air bearing units themselves which have both a journal component you see here and a thrust component here. This is New Way's porous media, graphite carbon porous media bearing. So um, this is also provides for sealing because there's air pressure coming out of the gap all the time. So we're going to do the assembly vertically. We've got our casting here. Let's start the assembly. Okay, first we'll install the lower bearing assembly. Slides up into the house. Insert the bolts. And we snug these bolts up. Okay, so now we slip the thrust collars on the shaft. Okay, with the thrust collar on the shaft, we get to the tricky part here, uh, the only tricky assembly part. You can see we put air pressure to the bearing itself. What we're going to do is slide this down. All right. So there she is spinning on the lower thrust bearing, being supported by the radial bearing. So the next would be the uh, assembly of the thrust washer onto this shaft. One side's got a bevel on it, slide on easily. Okay, thrust washer's on there. With the thrust cap in, we're now going to assemble the second bearing assembly, so we want to put air pressure to it. Okay. There we go, so now we've got air pressure to the cap. Slide it down over the top. Okay, so we've sized the thrust bearings to fit the spacers and the journals, but no shrink fitting of the bearings is required onto the shaft. And we've got that tightened up. You can see it acting just like an air bearing. It's got good thrust capacity, good radial load capacity. Super. Okay, so let's take it off of the angle plate put it on the surface plate, do a little testing. Getting it on the surface plate here, we can see it's working nicely. It uh, carries almost my body weight, not quite in that direction. Uh, I definitely can't ground it in the axial direction. And you can see what no friction looks like. It's around this keyway, being the lightest spot, will end up on the top. Completely frictionless. The inertia of that shaft just keeps carrying it around. You can see the keyways are both in one side of the shaft, and they're the lightest spot. So the heaviest spot of the spindle is finding the lowest spot. Completely frictionless.
Okay, to conclude our air bearing retrofit, uh, I'd like to point out that the radial capacity of this is about 100 pounds. The axial capacity is about 250 pounds. The flow through the unit is less than half a cubic foot per minute. And uh, we'd like to thank SKF for their cooperation in this project.